Right, here's a question. Uh, we're asked to do uh, find equilibrium. They say write an equilibrium expression for the above reaction. So nitrogen monoxide reacts with oxygen to produce nitrogen dioxide. And I think I've balanced it correctly. A done. B, the molar heat of reaction is negative 57 kilojoules for that reaction. So if I want to include energy in the reaction, because they say it's negative, that means it's exothermic, so I should write it on this side of the equation. So um, nitrogen monoxide reacts with oxygen to produce nitrogen dioxide, and it produces 57 kilojoules per mole of energy. Um, really, because this is two, this would be double, well, let's not worry about that. It's kilojoules per mole and it won't affect our answer. So they say if the value of the equilibrium constant is 6.45 times 10 to the fifth, so they say the equilibrium constant is 6.45 times 10 to the fifth at 227 Celsius. They say, will the value of K be higher or lower at 25 degrees Celsius? So they wanna know what the equilibrium value will be if the temperature is lower to 25 degrees Celsius. In other words, the decrease in the temperature. And typically for an exothermic reaction, if they are decreasing the temperature, let's maybe just do it with our arrows. So they're decreasing the temperature, so this is gonna be decreasing. That will be our um, stress. If this decreases, if you think about that ball, if this side goes down, then the ball is going to favor the right side so the equilibrium will shift to the right side so if the equilibrium shifts to the right side it means that the k value is getting bigger so they say will the k value what will, will the value of the k be higher or lower so since the equilibrium is shifting to the right the k value is going to be higher okay it looks like it's already pretty high so it's pretty high already but because we're going to the right, uh, the K value would increase. It would be higher. Hopefully that helps you with that question. Now it says C, calculate the equilibrium concentration of nitrogen monoxide at 227. If the equilibrium concentration of oxygen is that, and nitrogen dioxide is 7.5. And those are at equilibrium. So let's, let me do that one too. So equilibrium concentr or constant will be uh, concentration of NO2 squared over the concentration of NO squared times the concentration of oxygen. And they say uh, they're wanting this at 227, so this K value will work. So plug that. Well, maybe let's solve. They want us to know uh, nitrogen monoxide, so they want to know the concentration of that one. So let's rework our formula. NO2, oh no, just NO squared is equal to uh, concentration of NO2 squared over the equilibrium constant times the concentration of oxygen. So this one is equal to nitrogen dioxide. They have at 7.5, I have to square that, over the equilibrium constant, 6.45 times 10 to the fifth. Uh, and then O2 is 0 0.0015. 0 0.015. Good. So then you just plug that in, square this one. Make sure you put brackets around these guys that you divide both of those. And once you come up with the answer, do the square root thing. Right, hopefully that helps you with that question.